At the risk of getting in trouble, I say let's do an election recount. Just to legitimize the, the election, one way or another, we got to know. I want to personally feel like the vote was authentic. And we should all want that, no matter whether we're for Biden or for Trump, Republican, Democrat, Independent, Green Party, whatever party you are, it doesn't matter. We should all want a legitimate election and to know for sure that it went well and that it was done with integrity, that there weren't any uh, shenanigans or tomfoolery going on. Wouldn't everybody want to know that? both the people who got their candidate or didn't get their candidate, all of us should want to know. And I think that an election recount at this time would be a really good idea to check our system. This whole election fight, the election challenges, I think it's this is a perfect time for it to happen. It's needed to happen for a long time. It turns out that there were all kinds of... Um, shenanigans for a long time with the elections and this has been ongoing problem for many 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 years i think since 1970s or something or 80s somewhere in there there's been um some questioning about whether the elections have gotten rigged or not so i think let's clear it up now let's make sure we clear it up now let's fix whatever's wrong if there is something wrong and this is a perfect time to find out whether there was, whether the elections system really works. I want to know if it really works. I'm, I'm actually more curious than anything now, just to see if the election system can be jimmied or frauded, fraudulently manipulated or, or, or not. I'd like to know. And I think that it's still going to be hard to know even if everybody does agree to a recount, but which I think is probably the only logical solution to solve this problem. If it goes to the courts, the courts, I don't think they should pick the president. I think what they should do is say, all right, everybody recount. Everybody look at everything. Everybody gets to look at every ballot. You know, both parties, independents, the election officials, everybody gets to look at every ballot and decide whether it's admissible or not. <clears throat> and if that's done, then we're going to have a legitimate election, even though we're still going to have lost all the postmarks and all the post dates and all of that stuff. It's still, it's going to be hard to, um, hard to see where all the mistakes were made, which might have been done on purpose or not. I don't know would be interesting to find out. So this is a good time to test our system. I don't know how many of you were around in 2000 <laughs> with uh, um, the Gore and Bush election. Oh my gosh, what a fiasco that was. That was craziness. And uh, the the Hanging Chads Florida 20, two, Hanging Chads Florida 2000 fiasco. Oh my God, what a fiasco. It was like, Oh my God, the election is just so crazy. And, and everybody was looking at hanging chads. It was a time when they had this little punch card type of voting thing. And you would punch little holes in the places where you wanted the, like, there was something, I don't know how it worked, but you would punch these little holes. And if it was only halfway punched, it didn't count as a vote. And oh, it got crazy. So um, I think that if it ever, go, well, it's going to courts, obviously. I think that the only logical and fair thing to do is say, let's sit down and we're going to look at everything and let's see how, how this plays out. And if it plays out that there was fraud, then that election does need to be fixed. If it plays out that there wasn't fraud, then all the ac accusations are null and void and moot. So I think that to legitimize our election... The recount is the only fair way to do it. And I, as you've watched my other spiritual videos and, and my spiritual talks, you see that I'm always looking for a fair way to deal with things. I, I like to be a fair person, a fair way to deal with things, a fair way to find compromises between opposing parties, 
opposing situations in your life, there, there's a fair way and a balanced way to do everything. <clears throat> and I think the fair and balanced thing to do right now is to simply recount the votes and look at all the ballots and make sure they're, they're legit and everybody approves of them. If that's the case, then everything's solved. It's over. As a spiritual person, we want to be fair. We want to be balanced. We have to be, like, allow justice. And justice would be an election recount for both sides, really, for every side. It would be better that there's a recount on the one hand to either legitimize the election for who's already the projected winner, or it will legitimize the election for whoever might have lost but actually might have really won. We just don't really know. But to be fair, whether you're a Biden supporter or a Trump, or a Trump supporter, you have to be fair as a spiritual person and really look at your own morals and look at your own integrity and ask yourself what is fair. In every situation, I always encourage people, please ask what is fair? What is fair? If Biden won this election, it's fair that he has it without contest, without the calls of delegitimized, you know, all the, all that's going to happen. Or people not wanting to work with him because they feel that he's an illegitimate president. Um, I, th I would think that the Democrats and Biden would want that straightened out so that they don't have to deal with that for the next four years. And if they won fair and square, hey. If they didn't, then it's fair for the truth to be the truth of the vote to come out. So, I think that this election system has has to be tested now because it's never been tested before. There was the Al Gore and the Bush thing in 2000 with the hanging chads, and, um, and that was a zoo, but that took 37 days to play out before finally, I think... What happened was they just said, okay, forget the hanging chads. We're just choosing Bush. I mean, I think that's what it came down to. Um, which I don't think that would have been a fair solution. I think it would have been fair to go through the whole hanging chad thing. It was just taking too long. <laughs> I think that was part of the problem. But um, here, I have a couple notes here. The, to let the rule of law run its course. It's never been tested before. So let's let the rule of law run its course. There are things in the Constitution specifically for this, and this is a perfect time to work that out and let the court come to a conclusion. Um, basically, this is what courts are for, is to look at evidence, and it sounds like there is some. Um, sort the problem out between two parties and come to a conclusion that is this is just the sensible thing to do. This is sensible. Um, legitimize the election. And it's better not to be seen as stealing it. It's better not to be seen by stealing it by either party. And and that it's all done by law and, and done legitimately. Um, and here's the thing is that Biden is more legitimate if the election recount today in the USA is sorted out and it comes out in his favor. He's more legitimate. And also... Half the population wants a recount. That half of the population should get their process a law. That's only fair. And we should have it for the good of the nation. Plus, just to see how it plays out. I want to know how good or bad is our election system. I want to know. And so does all the rest of the world. They're all watching. Um, supposedly there was a computer glitch in Michigan where 6,000 votes went from one candidate to the other just with the flick of a software button, I guess. Um, and that's just one county, whereas this software is being used in 30 states. Um, same election box software is being used in 30 states, and it's called Dominion. <laughs> if this software that counts votes... Uh, if that's not a little ominous, <laughs> that kind of gives me chills. The software to count the election is called Dominion. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, it's it's already proven glitches in more than one county, from what I understand. That was yesterday when I wrote these notes, it was only one county, but that that's in 30 states. So that needs to be looked at. Um, Texas actually turned down that software program called Dominion in the elections because they saw so many problems with it. So, and plus, here's another thing that was even the Democratic chair person was saying this was long before the election but that these these software programs for elections are actually have a connection to the internet they're online in order to deliver results more quickly to the public and news stations and such and do it automatically but here's the problem it means possibly it could be manipulated if it has an internet connection online as well who knows what kind of backdoors could be in it. If there is a problem with our voting system, it's better to know now and revamp the system so that this can't happen again. It really is better to know now. Maybe it would be even easier to do an election redo. <laughs> I think that would be really complicated and difficult, but um, technically a redo might be needed if, if, if it's really flawed. Nixon and... Ha in his race with someone, I forgot which one, was having a, a, he felt, or someone else felt, I don't know which one felt that the, there were stolen votes, you know, that there were fraudulent votes, but that could have been a moment to check out the election system. Then there was Gore that, and, and Bush, where there was like this whole, that was more of a mechanical problem, but this is really the first time that there are high enough stakes i mean we're talking about the presidency the the seat of the united basically the most powerful person in the world really pretty close to it if not but probably the most powerful person in the world is the president of the united states maybe i mean probably everybody from other countries are like no my guy's the most, more powerful and <laughs> sorry if i offend anybody but but it does seem like the united states is you know, pretty high up there in the powerful president thing. Um, but this is a chance that we can really overhaul the system, look at it deeply, uh, really go through every everything that needs to be gone through to make sure that it's a legitimate election and that it's, that it's not Jimmy rigged. One thing I do know, and one thing I think we all can agree on, is that in order to legitimize this election, the votes have to be recounted. And I'd like to see that happen, and I hope that it does, so that everybody can stop arguing <laughs> and, and be happy again already and, and be together and unify. If we know that the election is legitimate, I think that's the only chance we have for unifying as a nation again with other people who voted for the other guy, maybe. If, if he won legitimately, then... You know, whichever guy it is, if they won legitimately, we should all back whatever guy that is and and unify under that if it doesn't get too oppressive and weird, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm trying not to tread on thin ice places of topics. I'm trying to keep it um, neutral and diplomatic for everybody. But really, the middle ground is to legitimize the election and make sure that everybody's happy with the fact that it was legit. And when that happens, then I think that we'll see a lot more calmness, a lot more peace in everyone, and and the United States can go on in a calmer way among the citizens, and there won't be all these unnecessary fights. All right, well, I don't know, that's my two cents on it, for what it's worth. <laughs> everybody take care. Be well.